What is going on YouTube? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video and there's been a lot of things that have went down in the Call of Duty scene as of late. Uh, Intel Call of Duty has dropped some bombs on the timeline. So we're gonna go through all of these tweets and all these rumors and we're gonna just talk about them as if they were true or what could potentially happen. So why waste time? Let's get right into the video, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we'll just basically go one by one. Uh, and like I said, we'll have videos where we'll go into more details. Well, but we're going to do all of these in this one because there's just so much to talk about. And I don't want to get left behind. So first one, Chicago's NRG Esports roster is still completely wide open. Doubt we see any movement from that spot until it's sold. So it looks like they're still thinking about selling. We've seen Cloud9 have some a uh, couple tweets about it uh, where they've been sort of baiting the community uh, that they might be getting into Call of Duty. We've seen them in halo obviously uh that big announcement that came out and then they've been talking about call of duty so it'd be awesome to see call of nine here um and there's also been rumors about columbus which i think would be absolutely crazy there's been rumors about vegas um so if cloud nine comes into call of duty i think that'd be a win all around uh, but obviously chicago spot looks like it's up for sale because the optic and dallas merger seems to be true i think everybody is sort of just accepting that nobody has really refuted it uh which in my mind tells me that it is pretty true um so it'll be exciting to see who gets that chicago spot uh, and if it's cloud nine because that would be wild uh moving on the next one that uh, intel call of duty is i mean they're just doing crazy work right now like the guy is going hard dropping bombs left and right but here we go paris legion have reached out to multiple challenger players from both eu and the na region unsure if they have the exact lineup ready to go through so i think this is the right decision for paris legion uh to go through challengers i mean if they really don't want to pay a lot of players a lot of money uh, obviously going through challengers is the way to do it uh you can build a solid roster through challengers ton of great talent there and it seems like a lot of them haven't been getting too much attention so i mean i, I could see like a tom gravity coming in obviously like a pro looter or a saints like those guys are fantastic players uh you bring those guys in and maybe you have a good fighting chance people that are hungry that have been grinding uh that deserve to be on a starting per roster especially the guys that won the cod champs for the challengers like i saw a lot of them not even getting opportunities yet so if paris is able to snag them i think that'd be a win across the board uh and they also retain theory as their coach so uh you like to see that theory uh coming back and hopefully they have more success this time around all right so here we go some mutineers updates we haven't talked too much about this team it's been uh kind of weird trying to figure out what they were going to do uh we've heard that neptune was going to go to subliners obviously with that roster with uh clay um crim and hydra uh so obviously that leaves a spot open on their roster but mutineers uh they've extended all their players apparently skies awakening havoc and yeez uh yeez is a player that we're excited to see and then they're interested in signing dav padai who plays main ar obviously that guy people love him they've been talking about him they think he's a fantastic player and challenger so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out uh, i think havoc to be honest you know great player he's been getting better over the years but i think he's reached his potential man at champs he just does not ever have a good performance i'm pretty sure havoc has one champs match win of all time uh and it's just not been working out so you got to think they're they're uh, exploring those options there but uh skies and awakening didn't have the best year uh looking to bounce back next year uh this roster looks like a solid middle of the pack team um uh, just depending on how good he's and dev padai are we shall see, man. Uh, but they've also parted ways with the tour, which I didn't think was the right decision, but I guess they thought it was. And they moved Willett to the main head coach, which we'll see if that plays out in their favor. Uh, but good luck to them. Good luck to a tour. Uh, this roster, like I said, seems middle of the pack, but they do have four solid players and, a, and a, a substitute player who is also apparently solid. So we'll see how that works out for them. But for Mutineers, I still think middle of the pack team, I don't think that this is an all around win for them in the off season. Uh, I didn't sign any really heavy hitters to help out their stars. Uh, and it just doesn't seem like they even really like worked that hard to try to make a big move. Like we didn't hear them in any talks about any of the big players that were gonna be entering Free agency we didn't hear them and rumored to be making any of these moves so uh they're just going the challenges route and picking up two players which is a decent route but you know i would have liked to see them at least explore the top tier talent uh but either way we'll see how Mutineers does going into this year uh, but like i said i expect them to be middle of the pack all right next one lag rebuilding around slasher potentially targeting hoop gunless and ace and via dot esports so let's check out this article i've not read this yet uh, but the Los Angeles Gorillas are looking to rebuild around LA native slasher. Sources tell Dot Esports the Call of Duty League potentially could bring in Gunless, Hook, and Ace him along for the ride too. Uh, so I mean, I, 
it could be a pretty good team uh really just this team completely rides on like how good hook is at this next game uh, if hook is an absolute dog at the game then they'll be very good uh slasher obviously came to his own uh towards the end of the season he got a lot better and then gunless i thought was pretty solid throughout and then asim as well he's i mean you can't go wrong with asim he's an aggressive smg uh he's gonna do the dirty work get the job done and work very hard when it comes to practice uh but i mean for lag i mean this is what we've been waiting for right like back-to-back -back years where they've had underwhelming performances where they haven't targeted any big players they needed to wipe their squad and and clean the slate and pick up new talent and rather than picking up the challengers talent which could have been a move for lag they're gonna actually throw some money and pay these guys and try to build a good roster now if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out it's unlucky but it could potentially work out i like that they're trying to get good big name talent to try to build their brand to try to have a solid roster that could potentially win a championship i think lag is full sending in here and that's exactly what they need to do so after two years i respect this move and i think we have to give credit to the lag staff for making a move like this if this is what happens um just because like like, like i said the last two years have not been great they've had to rebuild so they're going out there to spend the money you got to respect it all right next move reminder the deals cannot be made until the 5th of september these rosters are officially locked in and could still change okay what's today today is the 5th of september so maybe we get some announcements soon usually after the lock comes in we get announcements of teams uh next one sources tell sources accuracy is expected to lead sib mac and pred on seattle surge's roster now i actually like this team i think accuracy and mac are a good combination and then sib is a monster and what i'm hearing about pred is he's pretty good as well so this team could be very good uh and it'd be nice to have surge uh in the league with some with some up and coming and, and new talent right not the the old heads and the old veterans um and they'll have a good leader in accuracy so i'm excited about the surge roster surge has been getting a lot of flack especially their management team so we see uh, that they're trying to make some moves here and, you know, accuracy getting back on a starting roster. I know it's controversial for a lot of people in the league looking at it, but for new guys, especially guys like Sib and Pred, they're going to need a leader like that. So accuracy does still have a lot of value that he brings uh, and he's a solid player. He's consistent. Um, so I'm rooting for him. So we'll see how they do. Uh, but I, I like the moves out of surge, especially right now in, in a league where a lot of people probably don't want to play for Seattle. All right sources zero nasty gizmo on top of london royal ravens wish list now i like this zero fantastic player um for them uh i, I still think dylan is is unreal i don't know why they don't want to have dylan on the roster uh dylan is amazing individually talented player seems like he's got left in the dust um and i feel like i'm one of the only people talking about it dylan is one of the most elusive smgs we've seen and he has not been surrounded by the right players their team did not work out last year and if it did, if they had zero and they had the right roster, Dylan might have been a way better player. So I wish they would explore that option. But either way, good luck to them. I like that they're staying loyal to the to the uh, the UK fam and keeping that type of team. Um, but I'm just happy to see zero back, man. One of the best players we have in Call of Duty. He's an absolute animal. He puts in so much time. Guy is extremely talented and he should be a beast this year. I hope they do right by him. Our next one, Zach Denier is retired from competitive Call of Duty. I uh, released a twit longer. Uh, I've had some great experiences playing against Zed. Um, and honestly, one of the nicest guys ever. The guy always just did what he needed to do for the squad. Never really tried to look like the star. He put this twit longer. Hey guys, I didn't think I'd be writing this so soon, but I'll be retiring from competitive Call of Duty. It's been a good six years and I met some amazing people along the way. But when I first set out to achieve this dream of mine, not a single person believed in me. Walking into my parents' room after I qualified for the Pro League the first time and seeing their faces is something I'm never going to forget. And he goes on and talks about it. Um, he's going to make content and stream. I know you guys have been real supportive in his stream. So you guys should definitely go check out Zed. Show him some love. Uh, the guy's uh, a legend in the, in the European Call of Duty scene. And he did some good things over here as well. So good luck to him. I wish you nothing but uh, good fortune. And take it easy, my friend. All right, moving on. This is our last update that we have here. Uh, Slasher obviously got released from LA Thieves and now he's rumored to be on LAG um it begs the question where's Octane gonna go and I think that this makes it pretty obvious that Octane is going back to LA Thieves you get rid of Slasher who's the who's the main AR and obviously it looks like you're bringing in an Octane which you know is he's gonna be very happy about that I'm sure a lot of fans will be as well get to see Octane back in the LA Thieves camp and uh I, I just want to see a happy Octane who has nothing to complain about 
compete in Call of Duty, right? Like when Octane didn't have anything to complain about, when he had a good team, he was in the right situation, he was an absolute animal. And I'm just sick of Octane complaining. So let's see him on a good squad going off, Ryan. It'll be great to see that many are come back out and absolutely beam. And as for Slasher, you know he's gonna have a chip on his shoulder after what has went down this last year, especially if we're going to more land tournaments going into next year, Slasher is going to have the fire. So hopefully he gets the roster he wants as well. Either way, that is our last update, guys. So we just kind of went through it all. Hope you guys are all caught up to speed. Roster Mania has been absolutely nuts. We're going to get some official announcements soon. And then we will go into breakdowns in detail of how I think the teams will perform throughout the year. I feel like last year's videos, we were kind of on point with how we thought teams would perform. So this year, we'll do it once again. We'll run it back. Either way, guys, it's been real. I'm Nameless. Until next time, guys. Peace.